Hey, what's happening guys? Marcus here. Uh, finally got a little bit of sun this afternoon. Warmed up. Enough to wear short sleeve shirts that is. And uh, down here at the uh, Eunice Lake again. As y'all know, or some of y'all that don't know, I had put out a, a video on this boat. A review on this uh, express boat. And uh, the, the video is doing great. Thank y'all, by the way. Thank y'all for everybody that has shared it, liked it, visited it, commented on it. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, it's doing great. It's over 15,000 views. And uh, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback from it. I appreciate y'all. Can't do it without y'all. With that being said, um, this video is kind of uh, kind of a hit off of that video. Not so much the boat itself, but the electronics. Um, one of the people that actually um, commented and and gave me some feedback was, you know, they they the guy generally just said, you know, he would have thought that a 19 foot would have came with a with an all Trex trolling motor and a and a spot lock, which, you know. The, the 21 foot boats they do come with that and that was a good point let me turn this off real quick that was a good point and it, it struck up an idea in my head because um at the time i didn't know uh about what i was going to be getting to into with having um just an all track i mean a four trex troller motor which is what this boat came with and actually just one hummingbird helix uh hummingbird 9 mega si on the actual console and nothing on the bow so that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna talk about that and give you all an idea of of uh tips that you could do whenever you're looking to make a combo and some things that they don't tell you when you go out and buy a new boat and and hummingbird doesn't express a whole bunch of it and i haven't seen it in a bunch of videos but there are ways to get around not having to spend a bunch a bunch a bunch of money and i i'm not saying you're not gonna spend no money it all costs but the way that i'm going to explain to you hopefully to help you save some money if you are looking to buy hummingbird helix products and uh couldn't really afford the all treks myself personally i did not want to buy the all treks because it's just it costs more money to add to the boat this boat came with the far trek so that's what i went with but pretty good options so y'all hang with me and uh we're gonna graph around a little bit and check out on these fish and then i'm gonna come back and explain to you what i'm talking about all right guys so one of the things that uh i wanted to to show you this is the helix 9 uh si mega si okay and uh it gives you side imaging um down imaging and traditional 2d sonar now the transducer is on the back and you can see the, the difference here they got some some grass that's all grass here and then it gets to a hard bottom you can see that i hope you can see that anyway um the transition in the in the different bottoms you can you can see it really nice it's it's, it's pretty it's pretty good now one thing i will say is with this particular unit, which I'm gonna graph right here over this little ledge. We're coming up on a little bit of a ledge and I uh, just really wanna see what's going on on this ledge right here. Now, one thing that I wanted to talk to you about was also with this SI and with any graph, with any electronics, the clarity of the water and the particular way that the sun is shining on each any, any given day has a lot to do with the setting so you have to really um pay attention to that the settings that could show one thing one day and then on, on a totally different day you can't see what you were seeing uh on a on a day before or with a different setting so we're gonna pass right here real quick you can see the kind of change in the, in the water line right there it's getting a little bit deeper we have five foot we just went off the ledge and uh, we're coming past by this little tree right here. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So you got a little piece right here sticking out. Okay, there's that tree. And then you see right here on the side, so this is from the boat down on each side and then goes out, okay? So what happens is, is whenever you get, I'm gonna turn around right here and grab one more time. You can see all the other stumps and different things. 
I just wanted to graph over this real quick. Hopefully the sun is not gonna blare us, burn us up, but it's not that deep, but I wanted to give y'all a little a recording of this so that I could show y'all what I was talking about as far as the clarity between hummingbird versus, okay, now I'm a little bit further away and you can see there is a piece of cement or something. There's that bush. How you could see all of these holes in there. That's actual brim beds, fish, fish brim beds and, and, and whatnot, uh, spawning beds along on the edge of that ledge. So what it is, I'm right over here on the drop. You can tell right there where it drops off. There's actually a fish right there. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you here on that. Uh, we're right on that ledge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn. I'm going to get over here in the shade and get away from everybody. To where I can talk about what I need to talk about. We'll just ease on over here. Um, and again, the clarity on these Helix hummingbirds is like night and day compared to what I had with when I was running low rats. Um, and a lot of it could be in settings. I wasn't sure, but a lot of it I think was actual just the resolution on these on these actual uh, helixes are better than what that than what low rats is, in my opinion. Now don't don't mark me on that. That's just my opinion. So there we go pass by that little brush right here. So we just passed by a little tree right in here. And you can see you can see how the bottom there's some grass and, and different things. The bottom hardness changes. All right, so not too much to see right here. We're in two foot of water, um, but I came over here to this lake for a reason to try to get a, uh, to get to get out of the way and to get with uh, to be able to do this video and not be bothered by and actually have it in the water because what i want to show you with the 360 you got to have it in the water um if you don't it will not work and, and it, it won't this video won't do justice because i won't be able to give you every tip that i need to give you about it okay so we'll kill this right here all right so this boat came with the helix the helix nine what i just showed you it's a nine si and it came with just a standard four treks which didn't have any any uh, transducer on it. And the transducer for the Helix, for the Hummingbird Mega SI is on the back, it's on the transfer. Which if anybody knows, you know, a little bit about it, it doesn't happen to after you pass it. It's in the back of the transit, that's where it starts reading, from the back. So you gotta merely mark the spot if you wanna come up to something and then go back to it. Well, I wanted to be able to run a transducer that would give me the opportunity to see what was coming up in the front of me and fish ahead because that's how we always fish. We, we just, when you bass fish and you cast on the lawn, you cast in front of yourself all the time, keep trolling, keep trolling, keep trolling. Having that transducer on the back just really doesn't work. And then, you know, everybody's like, oh, you can put a transducer on the front of the trolling motor. And you can, you can put a transducer on the front of the trolling motor uh, on the front there you can buy brackets and you can do all kind of things uh, buy a bracket put it on there and then uh, actually you can buy uh, the, the Altrex the one that uh, I was referring to earlier excuse the noise I got a, I got a, the wind is kind of taking me the Altrex comes with the transducer built into the foot of the trolling motor okay so you can do that which they kind of price, you know. I think, um, I don't, I don't want to misquote it, but I think that the Altrex um, with the spot lock and the transducer in the foot was somewhere around the range of $3,000, okay? So, give or take. Not a bad deal, though. If you can afford it, hey, they work great. I had spot lock on my uh, bay boat, the boat that I had before this, and uh, I really did not pay attention to not having it here. I didn't say, oh, I gotta have that on every boat. Uh, I wasn't set in stone with it. It's good, it's great, but I still didn't have the opportunity to have with the 360. The 360 imaging transducer. 
Okay, so basically what I did was I had this humming bird on and I wanted the capability of having another screen up front and have that transducer. Well, what I didn't know was that you don't have to have a whole another side imaging down mega mega si down imaging sonar unit in the front to run the in the mancota far tracks with the 360 imaging transducer mounted to it you can just run and this is the things they don't tell you a lot of people go out and spend a bunch of money and they buy another unit another si unit and you don't really need it all you need is down imaging and i will show you why i'll show you how this works but anyway <clears throat> So basically, let's step up here. This is just the four tracks. And then what I did was just added the 360, Humminbird 360 transducer. It just mounts onto the shaft and then it wires back and plugs into the back of the unit, which we'll get into that, into this unit in a minute. I'm gonna turn it on and show you what goes on with it. I didn't have to have the Mega SI. And I looked all over and everybody was like, oh, you gotta, you gotta have two units of, you know, and then link them together, which they were kind of poorly right. All right, so, Humminbird Helix 9. I'm gonna try to make this fast because I'm probably talking all over already. The Helix 9 SI run an ethernet cable to the front and I actually paired the two. This unit, this unit right here, Helix 9, I'll turn it on is actually paired with the unit on the dash. The only difference is this one just is the down imaging version. Now, with that being said, see it has ethernet, what a, okay, current software. You will always have to make sure that there is not an update required. So and I'll, get, I'll get back to that in a minute. Anyway, press menu, normal, and then you just press exit, boom, you start it right up. Now. 360 disables out of water and it won't be enabled until I put it in there. There's a little sensor on the back of this thing on these little deals here Little holes the water hits it tells it it's in there Whenever you put these two units together this unit right here Will give you the temperature and the water dip up there on that other unit because the down imaging unit doesn't have that. That's the only downfall with it. It's not a downfall though, because I'm in linked into this one. So basically all you need is a down imaging unit. You ethernet it back to the, to the Humminbird 9SI, and it will feed the front unit everything that it has. It will give it the temperature, water depth, and GPS, because it doesn't have all of that, okay? So don't think that you have to have two fully blown, fully uh, full blown nine SIs or anything bigger to run two units on the boat. You don't. You get away with just having a down imaging unit on the front, which at the end of the day was only nine hundred ninety nine dollars. If you buy the another SI, you're looking at fifteen hundred dollars or somewhere in that area. And and then plus the Humminbird 360 imaging transducer is about another, I want to say it's $12.99. So um, you can get what you need out of just having that transducer and that down imaging screen without going by another a whole full flash system. And and with 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 it, with the minus of I don't have spot lock, but I'm okay with it. I don't need spot lock to be able to do what I'm doing. The trolling motor works fine as it is. Okay. So, now, with that being said, I'm going to go through this feature right here. It's got pre-entered screens. You can do whatever you want. You can do side images, GPS. You can do the 360. You can do that unit will feed this unit. This unit will feed that unit if I wanted to. You can actually put it wherever you want. Side image, down imaging, and that in case you want to drop a pin and go to it. You can see where I track around accessory test 2d sonar it gives you digital numbers gives you down imaging you can see i haven't really played with this as the settings are not set really good um the side imaging i use more than anything um, when i'm graphing 
and uh, you can actually, okay, then you, then you got the 360. Okay, so what I wanna do is, right here. Now, whenever you get to turn this thing on, it'll tell you to turn the 360 one on first. You don't have to. I found that you don't have to. Once I get it here, once I get it turned on, it'll give me that note. 360 has not been fully retracted, checks for obstruction, and then you can stick it in the water. It's not that big deal. Put it in the water right here so I can show you. And once I got it deployed, we'll just ride on around over here. And it takes it a few minutes, and this is why they tell you to the to actually turn this one on first because it, it will come up faster. But all I do is I just get out, go here hit that button until I get to 360 and it starts to work. It's not a big deal. It is a little bit quicker if you actually um, turn it on first, but you don't you don't have to. I, I, I just did it. It does it's not it, it's not a necessity. So and we'll we'll graph around right here and I'll show you. Now I'm gonna get to this this other screen. Switch to side imaging. Okay, this is the part that I was telling you to. All right, I switch to yes. And now my actual pod is using my 360 imaging to do side imaging from the front of the boat. Okay, and that's the things that they don't tell you. And you can see right here, it's a different color. The settings are not right. So what I'll do is I'll hit menu. Sensitivity, you can lower that. I don't like to blow it completely out of the water. Um, oops, sorry. Um, SI enhance, so I usually use that. I put there contrast, you can darken it, and you can see the fish. See that right there, that's a fish. I hope you can see that. You just have to mess around with it. Sharpness, I don't use. Contour, I don't use. And then the color. So I come over here to chart color. I usually use this one. This is the better one. But you can use any color you want. And now that I'm, I'm using my 360 image transducer as a side image, and they they don't they don't tell you that they don't tell you that you can do that and or that you can pair these two units and get that capabilities you can see the different lay everything in here it's it, it actually is a much much better uh, picture than just having the side scan transducer um, you from the back of the boat okay now I want to switch to 360 on, 360 off. So you can turn it on, okay? It's, it's on. So then what I wanna do is, if I wanna switch back to, switch to 360 imaging, yes. Then I just turn that back on. Now it's doing 360 imaging again. And then you can zoom it in, get it bigger, get it closer, so that you can see everything. which is pretty cool. I, I can change, I can do everything that I just did um, while I go to side imaging to the other screen. And I'll go show you that as real quick. All right, back over here. Now, this is the one at the console, which I can bring it up, which means the person fishing in the back of the boat can see all the way around the boat as well. You don't have to be guessing or wondering what's coming up or what, what am I seeing up there that they ain't seeing. And they can see it from right here sitting on the back of the boat. Plenty enough times, my wife, I have come up on a structure like this piece right here. I'll, I'll be fishing that up there. And I'll hit it a few times and then I'll tell you, see that piece of structure? Yeah, yeah. 
fish around it and she fish a different angle on that piece of structure which you see we just we, we moving so it's it's moving a little bit and she has actually caught fish all right and then see right in here you can actually set your your rings your range right now i got on 40 every ring is 10 feet well we know my boat's 20 feet so that's 20 30 and on and on but you can actually see there's that piece of structure again right there right on the side of the boat i hope y'all can see that this this thing is incredible um the imaging quality on it is incredible and we'll come back up here to the front you can see it here it's, it is very very good and if i wanted to i could record um any of the information in here now a lot of people have been like well it doesn't doesn't um it doesn't i can't see real good on mine or i can't make this transducer shine you know show what you're seeing that all has to do with your settings like i said you press the menu button and you come right there 360 enhance that's what i always go to that will change your sensitivity so it ain't just because if you get it all the way full blown out sometimes you can't really see a lot of it. contrast that will change everything you can change it to hard that'd be full blown hard right there i usually keep mine around 12 13. but you can see you can see the clarity in it and uh i mean it just it really does have a lot of okay in 360 you can you can slow the sensitivity down a lot lower a lot lower than that it doesn't have to be that high but this thing does have a very good picture very good picture and you can see remember i told you earlier it's given me all the features that i wouldn't have had up front without it because it doesn't have that down image transducer doesn't have all of the the same stuff that the si transducer has but with running this thing on the front now i can see all 360 degrees around me and be able to find things and see things um that you wouldn't be able to see till after the fact and then you would have to sure enough you'd have to go and, and put your marker in and go back to the marker everybody knows how it is when you when you're using transducers that are on the back of the boat uh, i mean it's 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 just how it works it's not instant it's not right now it's right now but it's it's on the back of the boat so you've done past it now another thing right here i want to show you um well you see, they got these spots every now and then right there like i don't know if you can see that white spot right there that's fish so what happens after the the thing the, the thing makes a scan and it, it passes and it might not be in the same spot or you know it may have been moved or but when you are trolling around graphing around and the 360 and we're going to come back to this tree up here while i'm talking when you are trolling around and graphing around with a m with a uh a transducer especially a side image or a down image and will work while you're graphing around but the, the best work when you're doing through two to four miles an hour they don't really work all that great when you're doing you know 0.8 one mile an hour two mile one mile an hour whatever they work better as you're going you know, when you're driving around graphing this 360 works better when you're sitting still so not that it doesn't work it'll still give it to you it'll still give you the the same pictures that you're looking for and it, it'll give you the graphs but it gives you better detail the, the, the better the picture when you're sitting still so it actually does a lot for me a lot of advantages when I'm fishing these these spots where I'm trying to really see if there's fish on the beds or fish in these brim beds like we're fixing to get into it really does better for me to be able to have it a better picture so i can pinpoint and pick out those fish and that's the things that i wanted to 
that they don't they don't tell you i hope this sun's not in the back of me killing this camera i really hope it ain't um but anyway that's that's the things that are that they don't tell you about this and and how to pair these units up together so that you can fish two people successfully successfully how about that success with success should i say and both of us seeing the same thing um that is what's that is really what's important to me um all right so we're gonna get back to this screen and i'm gonna show you some things right here okay you get big that big, that big rock right here all right this is the shadow of the boat you can see all these holes that's actually brim beds like right here on this on this this ledge right here see we have 5.2 foot of water i'm gonna let the wind carry us and i'm gonna show you the water depth is gonna start changing we're right on the ledge and you can see those little small dots right there off the bottom in between the black in between the boat and the black spot is the actual space between the water there's fish all around in there you can see them so I know right now that there's fish around this tree. This tree right here. See that tree on the screen? That's that tree right there. And you can tell by the and I can I can slow this color down, and not be so bright. You can see them. You can see where there's fish at. It, it, it's I know it's hard to see, but you that dot that dot right there those fish they're, they're, they're there okay now we're getting a little bit further away we'll, we'll be able to see some things up there so you got you got another brush pile or something here in the water see there's nothing here on the, on the water but it's that's the things that you can see with this 360 image and that's so important it's not so much that it you know it will tell you oh that's definitely 15 bass right there as it is oh there's a piece of log, a structure or a log that we didn't know was there and then you can fish around that and actually find that there were fish there to me that is more important and that is key element than having any kind of um graph that it, you know especially when you're in shallow water i'm in four or five foot of water right here i'm not in 20 foot of water where i'll be able to see them stack up that's not the deal so but good to have i wanted to show you these these this unit paired up with this 360 imaging guys it's not that hard now we'll tell you a couple of things real quick let's stand back right here all right, we're back on this screen. I'm back at the console. When you, and I will do another video on, on how to, um, the settings and different things like that. But for today, I just wanted to tell you, you can run the down image unit only. Don't get a transducer with it. Buy the 360 imaging and then pair them together, network, everything that this unit sees with that unit that unit sees with this unit and you can use it as side imaging or down imaging from the front of the boat so just make sure that when you're doing that um you what you'll have to do is this thing comes with a card which is right in here it, it comes with a sims card but it's got a slot for another sims card what you would have to do is they both come the same way you will have to get some blank sims cards go to your computer to the hummingbird website download the latest software version and make sure the two units are exactly the same because at first mine didn't work i was like ah, i don't work it don't work download the software version the same of and you're gonna have to have one because that's a different unit di unit and then the si unit make sure that the software version is the latest and up to date put it in the unit it will automatically detect that you have a different software version available on that card it will update itself every time you turn it on it will tell you if your version 
you've seen it up there on the 360 it will tell you if your version is good or not so make sure that you don't forget to to do that because if you don't it won't work i promise you i've tried it already and then after that you will need to get in there and i will do another video on how to set these things up and get the best picture but you will have to get in there and 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 tweak with it and learn it and figure out exactly what's going to make the best picture um guys look at that that is fish that is fish right underneath me in four foot of water there's a piece of tree right here that brush which is actually 10 20 feet away that's that that's that brush right there but you see that there is fish right in here so but make sure you work on that and then and then another thing too on the front here i'm gonna try to switch one more time okay this thing lays on this on this deal here all right see that unit right there that that deal right there this needs to be lined up exactly with the front of the boat when you set it down in the water you can see how when i lay it down mine's a little bit turned off but it's okay you can turn it it's not a big deal you turn you just turn it this little clamp right here which i need to tighten mine on. make sure it's lined up right in straight with the front of the boat and you good to go that thing will be see it even tells me when it's out the water and then it comes back on preparing the pod this thing has been the best bro and you can actually you can set the speed of this thing so like right now i have it on a 40 foot range and honestly if you take and you turn this range down it will be more sensitive you will find more like let's say i put it on 30 it will be more in detail okay at 30 it's seven and a half feet per ring but you can see the fish you can see the fish in that picture okay which all right so i got it at 30 feet right there and I'm sweeping the whole the whole pass. With that being said, you can take the sensitivity and slow that down to make it make it how how better you want it to read. The range 30 feet color display 360 the speed. There's a speed. I can make that thing sweep faster. I want it to read. I wanted to keep making the pass on this thing faster and faster, faster than what I'm moving. If I'm only moving a 0.5 and this thing is moving fast and it's moving its radar and that, that 360 degrees at five, you know, I'm seeing a lot of fresh update data. So that's good to have too. Very good to have. Now, I do find, like I said, the 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 sweep speed. This is another thing. The faster it turns, the less the less quality it is. But it's quicker, a quicker picture. The slower it turns, the better quality it is. It just takes longer to make that sweep. But you got to make you got to figure out which one is better for you because we all read something different when we're doing it we'll all see things differently so now getting back to my four tracks i don't have a problem with this guys i got it i got a very nice um i can put it on where i can put it on continuous or i can put it on where i run it and control it with my foot and i can pretty much hold this boat where i want it it's not that big of a deal. Um, stop block is good to have, and it would probably be great, but at the same time, I don't know that with that with that 360 transducer sitting there and that, that trolling motor always turning and, you know, it might not work. It, it, it'll work, no doubt it'll work, but it might not be as good as a picture with that thing moving all the time, so. But one thing is for sure, it is amazing. It is an amazing, um, the 360 imaging is a very good, let me get out of the sun. 
very good transducer to have. Um, I haven't found anything wrong with it. And I just wanted to cover that with y'all today um, about pairing them, how to pair them up, how to get um, having the, the sun. I'm trying to get that sun out there. How to see the same thing here and the same thing back there. Or if you don't want to see that back here, you don't have to, but you can. So, guys, I hope this helped. If you're into wanting to buy a new transducer, you're into wanting to, you, you try and decide, you can't figure out whether or not you want to, you know, put a an Ultrax with a transducer in it, just know there is other options. You don't need to have the Altrex with the transducer in it or you don't need to buy another transducer and mount it to the foot of it because that's still going to be on the back of the boat. In my opinion, the best bet is to just use the trolling motor you got and buy a 360 imaging and another unit. It don't even have to be the most expensive unit in the world. You can buy whatever unit you want. Now, make sure it is at least a nine. Don't go and buy um a six or a seven inch and think that you're gonna have the better quality you gotta look at the pixels the nine from the nine on up has the best resolution and i looked at it and they said you know that the 10 is what i needed but when you look at the 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 pixels in the resolution boxes you go on hummingberg and look at it for yourself it's the same the same pixels and actually the nine versus the 10 it's gonna be able to, you, if you gotta spread the pixels out a lot across 10 inches versus spreading them across nine inches, you're gonna have a better picture at nine. It'd just be a smaller screen. Um, it don't matter how you look at it. Um, as long as the resolution is the same, it's gonna be the same. You're gonna have the same, uh, the same picture as long as you do your settings right, keep everything um, fine tuned all the time. And remember, it is the same when you get to a different lake. You have to adjust for the clarity of the water. It doesn't always make the same picture. Like today, it showed the sun was a little bit, uh, the sun was out, the water's a little bit cleaner than it was. It's not much cleaner, but it's a little bit cleaner than it was the other day when I came. And the settings were showing me things that I didn't see the other day when I when I came in and actually looked. When I came the other day, it was cloudy, and it didn't actually give me the same picture. Guys, I hope this helped. Um, I will leave some links down in the bottom um, that will have the uh, Fortrex trolling motor, um, the 360 imaging that I actually bought. The prices, I I'll put everything down in there. Hit me up, leave some comments in the bottom. Um, ask me questions about it. I'm sure I'm missing some things. And I will be sure to make sure I try to answer all these questions as much as I can. Um, and 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 I will do another video on actual uh, coming up soon. Oh, there's some fish right there. I need to. I, I got like an hour left, so I really need to get to that. I will surely do another video coming soon on how to uh, wire it up. I, I, I'll show the exact the, the wiring in the back and what I did going from front to back and all of that. But just remember, guys, you can you can use uh, down image unit only 360 imaging and pair from front to back everybody on the boat seeing the same thing and be a 360 all the way around it has helped me to catch fish and i'm sure it would have helped you to catch fish as well so thank y'all um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already everybody that has thank y'all i appreciate it I'm, I, I'm i'm just beyond thankful for the 175 subscribers that i have uh in the year's time um, over 25,000 views. Thank y'all. I really love it. And and I, I will try between my, my daytime job and we'll try to get more of these videos out and continue to carry this on. Thank y'all. And we'll see y'all next time. We're going to try to catch some of them fish I saw right there on that, on that tree. Um, I got some, I got some really good uh, footage right here earlier. One thing too that I didn't talk about that I wanted to say earlier about having this thing right here. The 360 versus the transducer on the Ultrex. The Ultrex is built in. So if you break that Ultrex transducer for some whatever reason,
and you got to take the whole trolling motor off and bring it to the shop. You are down without a trolling motor. This way, you actually still have your trolling motor. You just take your, your 360 and send it to the shop or whatever, and you're good to go. Um, you can use the other transducer. So, the one on the back. It'd be in the back of the boat, but hey, you still got something to use at least. <laughs>